with everything from knitted garments to Iron Maidens. The Fibre Octave, Wearable Arts and Musical Extravaganza is certainly nothing short of unique. With the final touches expected over the next few days, event manager Gay McElroy says a year's worth of planning is finally coming together. The last final days now and we're really um, quite happy that everything is in place and ready to uh, open up to the public at 6 o'clock on Friday night. It's an enormous amount of planning really. We haven't really stopped since last year I don't believe. Not totally stopped, there's always something on your mind, an idea that you just have to explore and, and put into place. Most of the fashionable art is made by Southern artists who spend months working on any one piece using recycled materials. Coffee pods, PVC, fabrics, we've had all manner of things, so nothing really is ever a surprise. It can take up to nine months to make one piece, or depending what you're using and how uh, adept you are at using that material. The event, which is in its seventh year, was moved to Transport World to cater for a larger crowd, and McElroy said it's not showing any signs of slowing down. My vision was always for it to be perhaps the size it is, but perhaps we can go further with the content and the diversity of it. Normally it's a sold out show, every year it's been sold out well ahead of the date, so that's very much tells us that uh, Southland want it and people from outside of Invercargill also come to see the show. Doors open for the Fibre Octave Wearable Arts at 6pm on Friday. Sharon Rees, The South Today.